Bridget Jones is back in Bridget Jones The Edge of Reason by Helen Fielding and well of course she's been back for quite some time because this book is about I don't know how many years old but I was a kid at the time when it came out but now I finally got to read it and well stick around if you want to know my review I'm so sorry but I'm sticking it in anyway. Like I said, Bridget Jones is back, and she has a new boyfriend, Mark Darcy, who is tall and handsome, and a lawyer, and, and, and so much better than Daniel Cleaver, if you have read the first book. Of course, everybody should read, be reading the first book, or watch the movies to get some kind of premises again about it. Anyways, like I said, Bridget is back, and she's dating Mark. They've been dating for six incredible months and Bridget of course is on cloud nine and she just loves him and adores him and can't stop thinking about him and watches him sleep. Crazy, right? But it's Bridget and she just can't help it because she's in love with this man that she hated in the first book. but fell in love with him because of the way that he is. He is so sweet and kind and always thoughtful. Anyways, it wouldn't be a book without her family and her friends and a lot of craziness going on. <laughs> so it's six months and Bridget of course is going on with her life as a girlfriend. But when things go a little bit crazy and Mark is fed up with the fact that Bridget is going to her best friends, Jude and Shannon, and always relying on self-help books for the relationship, it just it gets Mark a little crazy and then they split up. They didn't really say that they're splitting up, but it just happens. Anyway. <laughs> Since then, Bridget is devastated and just wants to be happy and, you know, she's trying to figure out her life without Mark, but she can't help it because Mark has always been her part of her life for six months. Crazy, right? Obsessing about a guy for six, that they've been dating for six months. Yeah. Anyways, um, between her, her friends, and her family things of course are never boring her mom has her mom and her friend went to Kenya they brought home a Kenyan and try to teach him his their ways and try and have him teach them his ways and Bridget is just embarrassed and doesn't want to have this guy suffer her family but he's being polite and letting things happen. Along with that, a r enemy of Bridget comes into her life and is possibly the reason why her and Mark has split up. Her name is Rebecca. Yeah, Rebecca. She is a little devil. That's, just, that's all I'm gonna say. I would probably say the B word, but I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, Bridget thinks that's why Mark broke up with her and Bridget is devastated and she's always constantly seeing Mark and Rebecca together everywhere they go and it just breaks Bridget's heart. And like being Bridget Jones, things of course are never boring with her. Her best friend, Shannon, decides at one point to go on a vacation to Thailand. So those two go, and of course, if you've seen the movie, Bridget gets arrested. But not in the way that you think. Okay, maybe a little bit, but minus Daniel Cleaver. Daniel Cleaver is hardly in this second book. Anyways. Things go a little hairy for her, and Bridget is just completely, ah, 
And then as soon as she comes home, well, let's just say a death threat is put against her and even more craziness happens. And yeah, she discovers a lot of things about herself. She discovers a lot of things, things about her friend Shannon and Jude and also things about Mark. But of course, in this craziness of Bridget Jones's life, things have to at some point come together and if you've already read it or watched the movie you already know what happens and yeah that's how it ends okay well it doesn't exactly end that way but let's just say it's a happy ending and I'm sure some of you already got it okay all, all of you got it <laughs> and well, Bridget Jones is happy once again, and of course we all know that Helen, Helen, the author of Bridget Jones' sequel, or trilogy now, has brought out the third book, and I really so badly want to read it, and yeah, and until the next scene, <laughs> I don't know, sorry, <laughs> again, I'm sorry guys, um, so that's the end. I hope you like it and despite my craziness and despite my wiggling of my computer because I'm using my computer uh, for my camera. And right now I'm still reading An Air of Treason which is, you know, it's a pretty interesting book but hopefully I'll have a review up within the week or so. And then also, I'm reading The Bone Season. I've only started, I'm only like five pages in, and so far, it's going good. And hopefully I'll bring you that review, and hopefully my review of both books are a little bit better. And make sure to be on the lookout for yet another video hopefully I can do, which is, well, all these books that I have right here that I've won through Goodreads and Book Life and I'll get into more details as soon as I get it, you know, get it straight. Well, that is it. I hope you all like this review and hopefully next time I'll be just a little bit better at reviews because I'm so used to writing out my reviews. If you are new, make sure you like, subscribe if you want to, and shoot a comment. Let me know, if you were Bridget Jones, would you be obsessing over your boyfriend, then your ex-boyfriend, and then possibly back, be back to your boyfriend? Or would you just let it slide? Well, that is all I got for you today, and I will see you soon. Bye! So, bye!